Hey, Schneider, it's Jen, how are you? Hi, Jen, I'm okay, and you? Just realized you're probably talking, but I didn't hear you. I had my computer muted. Oh, you're fine. I said I was okay with paying you. I'm doing good. Um, my battery's really low. I might not stay on here for very long because I'm at work, but still wanted to give it a shot and see if I was on the right track with homework. So you're juggling literally being at work, doing your homework, and then coming to office. Yeah, and my boss is calling me right now because my relief didn't show up, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. So yes, yes, I am juggling all those things. <laughs> yeah. And Try another- Try to out so you don't overstress yourself. You know, it's interesting. Um, I get in my relaxation wherever I can, I guess, whether it's playing a game on a break or listening to music in the car and belting it out at the top of my lungs. You have to just, you know, Incorporate it, really. Mm -hmm. How about you? What's your life like? Uh, school, this, work, figuring out where I want to be in life. Little things like that around my age. Oh, just little things. Why, how old are you? 21. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, that's kind of perfect timing for you. What are you going to school for? Uh, I went to OCC for liberal arts, but I went under that degree because I didn't know what, what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But I know like I quote unquote needed an associate's degree. So like I went to OCC right after college, graduated. But then I was like, well, you know, this degree is useless. I can't, I don't know what to do with it. And then the pandemic happened mm -hmm. and so we're all locked up, right? So I'm just exploring, seeing, you know, what I may or may not like. I came across programming and here I am now. And now um, I'm in this boot camp, and I plan on going back to school for... Looks like your connection just... Uh, something with it. Hmm? Your connection was just going in and out? Oh, but I'm sorry. No, yeah, my Wi-Fi sucks. That's why I don't like working at home. Like yeah. when we're in class, I break out a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good we're here. Um, that's fantastic. If I could give you one piece of advice that I've learned the hard way, take every opportunity you have. If it's the wrong one, you can always stop and change gears. But if it's the right, right one, you didn't take it, that that's really tough. Right. Because then you just a bunch of what is in your life. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Oh, good. So yeah, my um my relief isn't here yet. I don't leave till six, but still. He's an hour late. <laughs> oh. What's your job? Uh, I work as a mental health residential counselor. Mm -hmm. So there are people scattered throughout the community in their own apartments. 
and then there are people who live in the same building as my office is um and we there's nothing we don't help them with let's put it that way <laughs> right that's good people yeah. people a lot of people tend to be lost and you know there's nothing wrong with helping um yeah yeah life can be really really challenging and then throw in a mental health diagnosis in there whether, right. it, whether it's given or not mm. yeah so the more support the better right i agree mm -hmm. how are you max I'm Max good. Jordan. Sorry, it took me a minute to get to the uh, a mute button. Oh, okay, yeah, that's usually what happens to me. <laughs> Do uh, Hi, either of you, hey Shiner, uh, either of you have questions I can answer for you? Do you want to go first, Jennifer? If I could, just in case I get interrupted, um, mm -hmm. really appreciate that. Could I share my screen with you guys? And sure, go for it. I'd love to show my homework for a minute. I felt really lost for a little while, and then I've gotten on to the right track for the most part, I think. Here. I have a lot of notes. Like, why won't this work? Why won't that work? Okay, so I've got a lot of code going on. Okay which may be a little bit more than I needed to. I think there are some spots where I probably could have grouped things together. Okay. What does it look like in the browser? So in the browser, let me go live here. So I had a completely different version of this to begin with, where I had the large icons I did not have the numbers yet. I didn't have the spacing yet, but I had it, it looked pretty. Okay. So let's go back to your code and I'm gonna uh, request remote control okay. and let's kind of comb through this. So a couple things that you're doing right. So the container and the row, you're definitely on the right track there. Um, I'm glad that you're using class. Um, one thing is, is that ID is another attribute that goes on this div. Oh, that seems to be inside of that. Okay. So that goes to there. Then you need your closing quote here. Mm -hmm. And then because you're starting a new HTML tag, this is supposed to go on to the next line and this comes up. Okay, so each new line, it's the column length, it's the color, it's the what? So have you. here you've got the word logo, mm -hmm. and then we need to do the same cleanup here, right? So okay. ID goes on that div, this div goes down to here, this comes up. And now, even though the, that code is grouped together, it is still a little bit easier to read because okay. now you can say, hey, all of this code is in my row. Mm -hmm. All of this is anything in here is in this call 10 and anything in here is in this call two. And we know that because it's indented a level deeper. Oh, that's great. That's helpful. Um, so if we go back now, notice nothing has changed here. But one of the reasons we did that gray background was to be able to kind of see how wide our columns are. And yeah. so if we go back into your style tag and we say um, we're going to target the logo and make that a background color of uh, gray and we can target the menu I can do that. Okay. And make this a background color of gray. Yep. And then mm. it'll show up. Yep. Ooh. And if we wanted to, we could say, um, like, let's make this just pink 
and red just oh, to go the, crazy. The breaks. Now we can see, oh, this is a two and this is a 10. Yes. Okay. And that was one of the questions I had asked myself on my list. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Now this text end isn't working because it's there's this other div that you've got inside of it. So if we make this, um, will it work with a P tag? Oh, I broke things. I don't think it will work with a P. See, I tried the P tags. And Let's, let me look at what you've got going on in your menu. Um, okay, so that shouldn't cause any issues. So we should be able to, what happens if we just take that out? What happens if we just put in the word menu? Ah. So the text end, if you're going to use a div here, I believe would need to go down here. And now it's going to do the text end at the end of the div that it's in. Okay. So the text end is only going to work if the only text there is, so it, it's like the, the text end only works if we put the text end back up here and just put the word menu in here. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to put it at the end instead of at the beginning. Okay, I just want to move my window here. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind. Oh, that's my boss. Um, if you want to answer someone else's question. Sure. Yep. No problem. I'll come back to you. Hello? Can you hear me, Max? I can't hear we you. We can hear you. Sorry. It would help if I unmuted my microphone. You're, you're, uh, you're fine. So, um, in the homework, the description, you said to link the CSS page and the HTML page. And um, personally, I prefer at the moment, things may change. I use the uh, external. Okay, yep. CSS to solve stuff. And my question was, um, I have to use the uh, style element in the external um, CSS to style my elements, or can I just use the selectors to style everything? You just use the selectors. So the no, style... Okay. The style tags you only oh, need okay. when you want to put your CSS inside the HTML. So you don't need style tags if you're using an external uh, link. That, that was also my only question. Because <laughs> I, I was looking at your examples and I was comparing my stuff and I was just. Yep. I'm, I'm all good. Thank you, Max. Cool. Any other questions I can answer? I do have a question, but I'm just trying to get something um, put into this so I can ask the question. <laughs> cool. Um, so just give me a second. Okay, so mine literally does not look anything remotely to what I want it to look. Okay. Um, can I just share my screen with you? Yeah, sure. And see what you think. Um, screen sharing. So... This is what I have. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then this is uh, my code. Come on. Oh, no, I can't. Hold on. Sorry. Let me minimize this and drag. Because I was referencing the old, the homework, uh, the classroom assignments that we had. Yep. Um, just so I know. Okay, so let's let's see if we can do a little cleanup here and get you get you looking so it's a little bit closer. Thank you for being one step ahead of me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I figured as much. As... Okay. Do you have I, control now? Uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, so first thing I'm going to check on you've got your link tag in here. That's good. That means you've got CSS coming in. Uh -huh. um, now we've got your container. 
And inside your container, you've got a row and a call to. Um, oh, okay. And, a, and then inside this same row, you mm -hmm. want your call E. Okay. But where does your row close? This closes the column. This closes the row. Uh-huh. So, so if we like the... take that and we move that down, mm -hmm. now we fix our indentation and say, now that's inside of the row. Now this is the close of the row. And if you want, you can add in close of row. Okay. And now notice your logo and your menu are looking kind of right. Yeah. And kind of. <laughs> we, we can also do um, in here, we could do something like text end. Okay. And now that's going to get menu over on the right. Uh huh. Okay. So text end. I'm going to put this down because just for future. Okay. So I'm going to keep going here. So we normally only want one container. Okay. Um, and we put everything inside that container. So I'm going to do that fix because this is your closing for your container. So okay. I'm going to take this container out mm -hmm. and make everything be in one mega container. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was well, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So you're, all, you're definitely on the right track, right? So now you notice okay. things are mostly lining up over here mm -hmm. because it's all in that one mega container. Okay. Yep. So now you've got your row, you've yep. got your call eight, which is good. Mm -hmm. And then you're closing your row again. Mm hmm so we so want them, to remove that. Well, we want to move it mm -hmm. down to here. And then we can say opening, closing, opening, closing of the columns. Mm -hmm. Then this is your closing of the row. Okay. And then we want to start a new row for the sponsor, right? Right. So, but we still want to be inside the container. Okay. So this is closing the row. So mm -hmm. these two divs, we don't want to be closed. Okay. Because we still want to be inside the container. Okay. So I'm going to take those out. But this call eight, we want to be in its own row, right? Mm -hmm. So we come over here because this is the indentation level that we should be at. We can mm -hmm. do our next row. And now we can take this column and move it inside that uh -huh. row. So just my placement was wrong. You want to make sure, yeah, like where where should we be? So like you've got this row right. Mm -hmm. And so I can take this div class row. All we need to do is fix the indentation. So opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, right? All of that's right. Mm -hmm. This is the closing div for mm -hmm. this row. Mm -hmm. But all of our rows should line up right here. Okay. So I can take that whole thing mm -hmm. and just tab it over. Oh, and wow. now everything's lining up there. Gotcha. So the lines, and if, if you don't mind, if I move the cursor. Yeah, so yeah, go this, for it. this specific line that has everything, all the content in the page is on the same line so that the information makes sense. Thank you. So now all you need to do is go through and adjust your column sizes, right? Because your sponsor okay. is an eight, but we want that to be the full width of the page, right? So, so 12. yep. And okay. just like that, you'll get there. Okay, perfect. Wow. That and then prettier. the one other thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to add on my call um two and my call eight just to get it uh, started i'm going to say border 5px solid white and now i can kind of see a little bit where my columns are oh wow so for this you're going to need to adjust it because you've got some other column sizes a call four a call 12 so if you keep adding them call um, four yeah. call 12 now you'll be able to see your white a little bit more, or if it's helpful, uh, you can do something uh, sure? <laughs> quite quite bold to just be able to see kind of where the, the borders are. Wow, okay. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So you're, you're really close, right? You've got, you're using your columns right. Now that you've got your rows cleaned up, it becomes a little bit more structured. 
And right. so it becomes easier to say like, oh, well, this isn't right. So that's in my first row. So right. now if I go find my first row, I can start adjusting these and say, oh, well, maybe it's like a three and a nine. Wow. Okay. And then and I'll then, just put them up there at the column section. Correct. And then eventually okay. you can, you know, turn this back to white and you'll get and a little bit it. of breathing room. Yep. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So you're close. You're really close to the finish line. The other thing that you can do is like this main row, right? Is mm -hmm. bigger on the mock-up, right? It's, it takes up more space. Mm -hmm. So to fix something like that, we find where that main is. Mm -hmm. And then we say, okay, this is going to add, we're going to add a class of like bigger section. Oh, wow. Then we can come up to our style and say, and hey, our bigger section is going to have a height of like 300 pixels. And I'm going to type like an idiot and nothing's going to work. Whoa. So That's just something, awesome. to, something to play with there. No, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. This helps out so much. And I can see because once you do it by yourself on your own and you, and you're able to see the changes that are made, you instantly recognize it makes more sense. Like I'm learning it that way. I yes. guess my way is doing first and then see what you did wrong and fix it. And that's All the time. point of the weekend homework projects, right? Mm -hmm. Is that like they're bite-sized enough where I wouldn't expect you to like be able to make the whole website project on your own right now. But right. this gives you a good vibe of like, okay, I'm understanding the calls and it's working in this section, but mm -hmm. I also did that down here and it's not working. Wow. Right, right. Okay, cool. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Thank you so much. That helps out so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. Schneider, mm -hmm. I see a hand raised. Yeah, another question. What was the column rule? Does it have to be divisible by 12 or does it have to be add up to 12? Both. So oh. it all the columns have to add up to 12. Mm -hmm. So the way we figure that out is dividing it out. So if we say, okay, um, we've got something that wants to take up 25% of the screen. So we take 12 and divide it by four, because that would be four even sections. That's the 25%. And we get right. three. And so th then we take that three result and we say call dash three. And if we use four call dash threes, it will take up the full width. Okay. So it, it's it's both divide and add, but if you want to think about it as I've got 12 available spots, and if I say three and six and three, that adds up to 12, and then proportionally, I'm going to have a 25% width column, a 50% width column, and another 25% width column. Got you. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Brandon, any questions? Uh, no, not right now. I'm I'm just still trying to get caught up because uh, I missed class on Thursday. Um, and I mean, I've been kind of trying to. I don't know. I've I've just been kind of getting a bit anxious to get things started. So I just thought I'd just hop in and like absorb. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. And. Uh, the video from Thursday is uh, now up on YouTube. So hopefully that uh, will help with your weekend homework assignment as well. Yep. I was actually just watching that before. And then I was like, oh, shoot. Um, office hours are starting. So let me just like cool. stop that for a bit. So, oh, I'm sorry. I don't oh. mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Um, can I show you this and see mm -hmm. if this is what... Um, I'm going to... Sorry. I'm going to share my screen with you really quick. If this... Is the final? Do you want me to add more to it? Um, that would get full credit for the homework assignment. Yeah, all that looks good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Yeah, no problem. If you want to go back in and like add comments to make sure that you understand it, that's the difference between like a two homework assignment and a three homework assignment. Um, right. or if you really wanted to go nuts, like. You could start actually putting in a logo or like put in little ads or stuff like that if you wanted to. But mm -hmm. this for the homework assignment is like full credit. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 
All right, so I'll add to it. I'll make it look pretty. All right, thank you. <laughs> Good work. Thank you. Will this video be posted or no? Yes. On the um, Hack Up State C, uh, C4 channel or elsewhere? Uh, on the C4 channel. On uh, gotcha. the C4 playlist. It's just the Hack Up State channel. Understood. I will stick around for a couple minutes just in case any questions do pop up. Jennifer, did you have questions? Yeah, I would love to share my screen again and pick yeah. up where you left off. Perfect. Thank you. I apologize, I'm juggling. I know what it is to uh, work multiple jobs, so no big deal. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. We left off here. I can see where that breaks, so I know where the columns are. Um, so I think what will be most helpful is just going through your code again and kind of cleaning it up, and then you can decide what direction you want to take it from there. Okay, so this here, just to be sure, mm -hmm. that's what we had already cleaned up before. Yes. Are okay. you, I, I just see your Safari browser. Are you sharing your code? Oh, you know what? It it paused. I don't know why that did that. Oh, because I'm not in the right window. Oh my goodness. Um I will stop. I'll check this again. There's my code. That's better. Yeah. Yes, much better. Okay. So, um, could you please remind me how I can make all of that a comment so I can, I can highlight it for myself? Um, if you, if you comment it out, it won't show up. Are you asking how to add a new comment? Well, I can add a new one, but I want to highlight this code somehow. So then I can remember when I go back to look at it. That that's yeah. What I'm so in. if you, um, it's not like Google Docs where you can like highlight it and just hit like add comment button. What you could do is something like this. You could say like, um, begin comment number one. Mm-hmm. And then something like end comment oops, number one. And then you could say something up here. I, I know this is really hacky, but um, something like uh, comment number one. Mm -hmm. The code we cleaned up is in this section. Yes. Perfect. There's unfortunately there's no way to like highlight this and then be like this is what I would like to put the comment on. Mm -hmm. um, but if you kind of go a little old school and say like, hey, this is the beginning and then the end and then the comment itself is right above it, that may that might be a way to get it done. Um, but like I said, that's that's you know a little hacky. Um, there may be extensions in VS Code that you can install where you can like highlight the code and leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Um, but th this should get the job done for now. That's um, great. so we've got a little bit more cleanup to do here. So, um, I think the biggest mistake that, that is through all this code, which is, is no big deal is that these attributes kind of all go together, right? Mm -hmm. So we, each other. yeah. Um, and the line, this line spacing, it's not that it's wrong this way, right? Like this code will run. 
So while a mistake like this is considered wrong because the computer won't understand that this ID is attached to this div, something like this is kind of just programmer's preference to say, hey, whenever we put a div inside a new div, we move it down to the next line. So just commenting on that of like, this isn't wrong, it's just not preferred. Something mm -hmm. like this is considered wrong because we do want it together on this ID and this class applied to this div, which means anything inside of it will get styled by this or this if there is a selector for it. Okay, okay. Now, will that explain why I can't get... Well, you showed me how to do the gray space that was... That was up in the CSS, right? Yes. Can we go there? Sure. Thank you. So, um, so that's the background color, pink and red. Mm-hmm. And the... The white space between the gray? The No, the gray bar that we put behind logo or... Well, the red and the pink, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what we had changed it to. Yes. Okay. So do you feel like you can take this and finish out the assignment? And if not, think what next questions you may have that I can help you to take to take, you know, take to finish it. I think I can get the rest of that. Um, I'll play with it some more, and maybe if there's time, I can squeeze in a an appointment with you if you have something available for tomorrow. Yeah, I've got um, my morning open. Um, a good thing that I probably have not mentioned in class yet is that if there is not a time slot available on my Calendly, you can always shoot me a Slack message and there's a good chance that like while I have it blocked out, I can just manually schedule an appointment with you guys. Um, so if if you ever go to Calendly and you can't find a slot that works for you, um, just shoot me a, a Slack message and we can go back and forth and figure it out. Um, the other thing is my calendar locks out 14 hours before the next appointment. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason I have it set up like that is um, I don't want to like go to bed and then wake up at seven in the morning and then be like, oh crap, someone scheduled a, a meeting for me in, in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I've got that meeting lockout so that when I go to bed, um, I can check my calendar and know what my day is going to look like tomorrow. Um, so if, ever, if you ever can't find a time, um, or you're like, oh, darn, that was just available a couple minutes ago, shoot me a Slack message and we can find a time that works for you. Great. Okay. Um, I, I think at the, at the risk of, well, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to push it. Um, the spacing in between, because I've got what the logo, the menu, the main section, and then the, the aside, uh, we got it horizontally, but I didn't understand how to get it vertical. Okay, so vertically, um, all we need to do, well, there's kind of two ways of solving it. We can either make the columns have a little bit of margin between them, or we can draw a border around the column. Border, border margins. Okay, I'm going to work with that. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. And when this video posts, you might want to go to um, Agonza's section because that is where we did the border, but you can also make it worth make it work with the margins. Great. Okay, thank you. That's a good hint. Thanks. Christina, I saw you popped on. You have any questions? I have a whole lot of questions. I've been crying like all day. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I am lost. 
Okay. Do you want to share what you have or do you want to, uh, I can um, also kind of start from scratch and, and maybe get you started. It's up to you. Um, well, I can't, I have it. I have what I have. I have what I wrote first in a notepad because I don't know how to make another eight, uh, index. Okay. And then I started all over. Cause I like, I asked you for help and then, but I didn't understand what you were saying. So I didn't want to keep bothering you. So I was just like, I deleted it all and started over. And I, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Let's go ahead and share your screen. Let's see where you're got, where you're at and let's get a file started for you. Okay. Um, so we're going to open VS code. Hold on. It is. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um, oh, and then this is what I originally had. Okay. So everything is right here. Um, so let me. Let me see where you're at. I'm going to request remote control. And let me just pop open to your code here. And I'm going to go live again. And OK, so you don't have anything in the site yet, but you are on the right track here, and your notes are right. So we're going to just borrow a part of this. We're going to grab this div class call two. And we're going to copy and bring that into your first row. Now, the only problem here is you're missing your closing arrow. And now we can just clean up this indentation a little bit. So now, if we come over here, your logo is showing up. So if we go back to what you were working on, um, the logo isn't the only thing as part of that assignment, right? Let me see. Do you have? Um, I have me... the picture um, somewhere in my, hold on. Yep. Uh... Okay, perfect. Um, so we're looking here. You boxed all of this out, right? You recognize where all the columns are, which is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to leave that up. And so we've got our logo. Now we need to get our menu showing up. Right. So if we say, hey, everything's based off of 12, we take 12 minus two and we go, that means that the menu must be a 10. So we add a new div in here with a call 10 and we say menu. That's now, what I was confused about, about the whole math part. I'm like, wait, we had to do math? We're, I, I wasn't aware of that. Like, I couldn't figure out the numbers. Okay, so everything is off of 12, right? So right. if it's six and six, you're going to get two even size columns. Okay. The, the lower the number you make here, the smaller the column you're going to get. Okay. But if you want it all to, if you want that row to be the full width of the container, it's going to all add up to 12. Okay, each row is a 12? Each row is a 12. Oh, yes. OK, OK, OK. So in order to help see that, we can add a style tag up here. And in the style tag, we can say, hey, the call to, we use the period here because it's a class here. We can say that's going to have a background of yellow. And the call to, I'm sorry, the call 10, is going to have a background of green. So when we come over here and remember to oh, call 10, sorry, we can see this is a two and this is a 10. OK. All and right. we can come in and adjust that. So just for, we can say something like, OK, if we make this a four, we if this is a four, we only have 12 spots available. 
So we say 12 minus four is eight. That means this must be an eight. So now if we save that and look, this is now bigger oh. and that's what's remaining. Now it doesn't always have to add up to 12. You could say this is also, uh, let's say this is a five and this is a five. And now it doesn't go to the full width of the page. Okay. So okay. sometimes it's helpful to go into the container and add a border of one PX solid red. Because now you can see where that container is. Oh. So if we come down here and do can I another. Put that on each row? No, you can put it. Well, you could if you wanted to. Um, let's let's do this. Let's say div class row. Oh, I'm sorry, you already have a role. Uh, let's say this is a call three, and this is going to be a call nine. Now we can say uh, call three, call nine. Let's get our indentation right here. And now we can say uh, call three, make this a call nine. And if you wanted to, you could put a row and say that border is going to be one uh, PX solid blue. So now we can see our two rows. There's a little blue border around the entire row. Then there is a red border. Um, around the whole container. And then each one of our columns has a little border on them as well, uh, has the background on them. So we can see the size of that. And I can do that as a guide and then go delete it. Yes. And I can just delete that one PX whole, whole um, line and I'll be okay with the code. Yep. So oh, if, you, okay. if you comment out like these three lines by hitting, highlighting them and hitting command slash, you'll notice that red border is now gone between around those rows. Okay. And then same here, if you highlight it again and hit command slash again, it will put it back in. Okay. All right, I get it. So I get a copy, of, can I, can I, um, is this on YouTube? Like It will be, it? yep. Okay, all right, cool. I can go back. All right. I get it. I get it now. Cool. And, and that's you. what I was trying to say for the reset of like this, each, each row adds up to 12. But you don't need to think about it as this is a column, but then this is a different size column. That's okay. Because every time you open a new row, you get a new 12 to work with. And so okay. you're going to have this be a four and this be an eight. You may have this be a nine and this be a three, but then the sponsors down here is going to take the full 12 because it has nothing else to share with that row. And then down here, you say, oh, I've got six columns. So I have to take my 12 that's available, divide it by six, and that gives me two. So each one of these is going to be a call two. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Hi. Um, hey. So I just tried to add um, an image tag, mm -hmm. IMG tag, and then an SRC tag and then I put the title of the picture that I want for my laptop as a logo mm -hmm. not showing up I don't know if I copied the logo correctly or if I share your wrong. screen let's take a look okay give me one second okay so this is sorry so this is where I put the image tag for the okay. logo a couple things you got to clean up here and then this is the logo that I want. Okay, so let me request remote control. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this logo and I'm just going to drag it into the W2H2 folder. Oh, wow. And that's going to make a copy of it. 
Okay. Then I'm going to right click on it and rename it. And I'm just going to call it logo only okay. because um, we don't like spaces in our code. Okay. Now I come back over here and mm -hmm. I'm going to rename this to logo dot jpeg only because that's the exact file name over here okay and then the last thing is it's an src not an scr okay now uh image tags usually are also self-closing tags although the way you had it would also work okay and so now when we come over here you can see our logo okay but the it's big so i can but it's big. reshape it so what you can do is you can add um, an ID on this that says logo. Mm -hmm. And then you can come up here and make your logo. And then the easiest way to size it is say width 100%. And that will oh, make wow. it fit inside the column. Wow. Okay. Can you make it smaller? Yeah, you could uh, you could either do a percentage of the column if you wanted to, okay. or instead of a width, you could, uh, do a PX. you could say like, oh, I don't want the height to be any bigger than like 50 PX. Oh, okay. So gotcha. you can you can play around with that yeah. um, and, and go from there. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're on the right track with the image tag and all that kind of stuff. It was just Whenever oh, you use it. a file, it's got to be in the same folder. I didn't know that. So that, that helps out a lot. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. It's looking good. Thank you. Okay. I don't know how to add that. Okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm a pro at stopping people's screen shares and slapping their hands down. Seriously, I appreciate that because I am not, I'm like, I don't know what I want. I don't know how to stop it. I uh, didn't. I don't mean to be offensive to anyone religious, but I really want to do a shirt that has like a screenshot that says "Request Remote Control" uh, <laughs> as like the top of it, and then the bottom part of it say "Jesus Take the Wheel." Because I really feel <laughs> like for a lot of my students, I'm like, okay, I get where you're going. Like, let let me in. Let me help. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's totally true. Because I'm like, I, I, I panic like I have a mini panic attack I'm like oh my god I gotta click it fast enough sometimes it's good sometimes I will walk you through it and say like this click on this and then click on mm -hmm. this just so you get the practice of it and then there are other times where I'm like no it's just easier for me to click than it is exactly. to tell you where to click so exactly. there you go <laughs> any other questions I can answer so if I was to um kind of like a make make it like a fake menu and then put a click here for the menu to mm -hmm. send to like a fake website. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And you can just use like google.com as the link, or if you okay. have some menu somewhere already on the internet, you can just like copy and paste that link in. Um, okay, and that's perfect. totally fine. Okay, perfect. One suggestion I might make though, um, is make a copy of the file. Mm -hmm. um, just so if you're working on it and you like, Change break something further down the, yeah. the line and then you're like oh my what am I going to turn in for homework now it's all broken yeah. um at least you've got a copy of like kind of the the basic homework That's um but you can literally just duplicate the index file um okay. and call it like homework submission or whatever you want um and go from there so under file go to duplicate workspace no uh so it's just like literally copy everything copy and paste yeah Gotcha. All right. I'll do that. Thank you. I think in Finder, there's a duplicate option, uh, but it might not be in VS Code. Oh, um, yes, there is in Finder. You can just right click on the file and then hit duplicate. <laughs> oh, yes. Any other questions I can answer? For me, no. I'm all set. Thank you for your help. No problem. Well, I am off to go make four ingredient mini pot pies. So that's, that's ahead for me on my weekend. Well, you enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy that chef Max. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rarely have time to cook during the week. So on the weekends, I'm like, Ooh, four ingredients. I mean, this you're making like them fun. homemade. No, I'm, I'm totally cheating. So it's, um, biscuits, 
uh, cream of chicken soup, frozen vegetables, and cooked chicken. And you literally just put them all in the biscuit and put them in a muffin tray and throw them in the oven and you get mini Popeyes. Oh, I'm going to try that because I have been literally saying I want to learn how to make a, a homemade pot pie and I'm intimidated by it because I don't want to have like too much ingredient and the crust, whatever. And I literally was thinking about it this weekend and I ended up getting the ingredients for um, chicken tetrazzini. I don't know. Oh, okay. Never, yeah. Never had it, but I'm excited. In the same family. Yeah, this, this, I mean... I am like a decent cook, but I'm not like, you know, a professional or anything. Um, but this seems like a very good four ingredient, what could possibly go wrong kind of thing. <laughs> four ingredients is too simple. You guys dust it up a bit. Oh, well, well you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work our way up to it. But for right now, let's start <laughs> with, you know, start with four and see what could go wrong. <laughs> I love, I, I am the most peace. When I'm in the kitchen, I love to cook. Nice, nice. All right. Well, I will let you guys get on with your weekend. Thanks for signing on. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Thanks you for the help, Max. Bye.